Good afternoon. My name is Bill Lothrop. I'm the chairman of the Board of Fire Commissioners of Wurtsboro Fire District, Wurtsboro, New York. Wurtsboro is approximately an hour and a half above New York City in the heart of the Catskill Mountains. Uh, today we're doing a video on our new truck. It's a Quantum Pierce Quantum Pumper and I'd like to take you around the truck and show you a little bit about the truck. One of the things that we added to the truck that didn't come but when we were here uh, about a month ago is we walked in and we saw a San Antonio, Texas truck which is almost basically identical to this truck without our knowledge and we saw this Eagle and we said we have to have this. Basically the cab of the truck is very roomy and you'll like the feature of the drop down doors as you can see. You have the driver's position obviously with a screen, an LED screen, so that he knows what's going on and has all the functions of the truck. And across from him, when we get onto the other side, is the officer's position in the front of the cab. <clears throat> if you'll notice, when we close the door, the steps drop up and come back up. And they retract. Coming over to the crew, portion of again the stairs and I'll go through that again they're retractable as you open the door they drop down inside the cab is four Scott pack jump seats and two regular jump seats without packs so basically back here it's a six-man cab for the crew Everything is intercommed so that the guys know what's going on as they're going to the scenes of fire. The two positions in the front of the truck have headset intercoms so that the officer and the driver can talk to each other and also communicate outside the truck to the other vehicles, the chiefs, and the 911 center. The pump panel is a top-mounted pump and obviously for reasons that you can see, it gives the pump operator, the driver of the truck, the ability to be up high and oversee the entire fire ground operation. That's why we like this. This is the second time in our district that we have done this type of arrangement, but it's a very common thing in the fire service, top mounted pumps. Okay. The truck is a thousand gallons of water, and a 1500 watchress type pump. Okay. Your pump panel and your outlets are here. All right. We operate with a five inch hose in our district. So we have several discharges, intakes on both sides of the truck and our discharges and intakes. On the top of the pump is two 250 foot inch and three quarter flat double jacketed hose reels and these are quite unique those are attack lines with task force tip nozzles on them and they have 250 foot of hose basically those are our first lines off the truck when we pull up to a fire we normally just pull the hose right off and go into the scene with that we can break the hose at any 50 foot length and if we have to break it then we come over and we'll hook it to one of our discharge ports right here. Otherwise we'll pull all 250 feet out to go into the scene of a fire. The nice feature about this is at the end when we're done we take the line, the, ho the nozzle off the lines and it takes one firefighter the ability to repack this truck electrically by reeling it in all by himself feeding the lines in back up onto the reel. Very unique. We did this in another truck that we had and if we hadn't done it on this truck they, the guys, the firemen told us don't bother bringing the truck to Wordsboro. As you can see various different compartments pegboards for tools, mounting the various different tools and nozzles, connections, whatever, onto that. 
everything is the protective mat flooring, which saves a lot of aggravation, a lot of heavy duty cleaning. Very common now. Again, other compartments above with a tool board here also. Nice feature, it moves out. And you can work off of it. Another rear compartment. A lot of space, a lot of things that we can store and do with this truck. The back of the truck, we have our hard suction compartments. Three sections of hard suction. On the other side, is our ladders. Attic ladder, roof ladder, and it's 24 foot extension ladder. And a rear compartment with a famous booster reel, the only one on the truck. And that will have a one inch, what they call the red snake. Coming around, again, same thing. Your compartments on this side, almost identical. On this side we have compartments built in so that we don't have wasted space. And we have trays for our spare Scott Pack bottles. It is so nice to come out here and obviously Pierce makes you feel so comfortable and the ideas that are incorporated were just phenomenal to put these trucks together. And as you talk to the other departments here, they feel the same way. They're treated with uh, so much respect and your ideas are incorporated to put these trucks together just the way each and individual fire department would like it. Again, on this side, you have your other reel up on top for this side of the truck and your other connections. Here you have your cross lays, inch and three quarter attack line cross lays. You pull out and go with them. All right. Up on top by the pump panel is your FRC 12 volt lighting scene lighting for flooding the scene in nighttime operation. And here is a six inch hard suction port. And this is where we can draft if we have to, even though this truck is a first due engine, we can draft with this truck if we have to go into a lake or a pond. And depending on where and how hard we have to position the truck, obviously, we can swivel it. Okay. And at this time, I'd like to thank you for taking a tour of our truck. Please uh, enjoy it. And uh, its next stop is the FDIC show in Indianapolis in the next two weeks.